triggered. <laughs> That's right. It's it's a pretend gun, but like, what did you feel in that moment? Was you triggered? Being triggered is, it's deep. What exactly triggers us to react to physical um, communication, sounds, you know, seeing things, hearing things, feeling things, um, routines, um, synchronicity. We all have baggage. We all have emotional baggage, physical baggage, spiritual baggage, and these can be from past lives. These can be from this current life. Now, it's like I know somebody that doesn't believe in past lives at all. They don't believe that it's possible. They don't believe that they have had past lives, but yet they are very drawn to um, at, um, the time of Auschwitz, of the, the Jewish sort of um, concentration camps where mass loads of people were slaughtered. And it's quite interesting because it's like, although this person isn't triggered, they are triggered in a way that they don't believe past lives because I believe that that person has been affected so much in that past life that they don't want to believe that past lives existed because they want to forget that that past life. So triggers, you know, what makes us trigger? It can be stuff that we don't even know. We just instantly snap really quickly of a situation, of an emotional situation. Um, and we probably don't even realize why we are being triggered. And we have to take a step back and think and like, why, why am I being triggered in this situation? How can I improve myself? And always the best thing to do, and I think this is whoever you're with, if it's like, you know, if you're at work, if you have a friend, it could be a relationship, family. If you're getting triggered, just take a step back and just have some time just to reflect. Because it's like, if you know that you have triggered and you've snapped at somebody or you said something in a certain way, it's just taking that time for yourself just to go, why was I like that? What, what made me feel uncomfortable? And you may not even know, but clear your mind. You don't have to go into meditation. Just continue your day in a meditative way and just ask for clarity and then reflection. And you'll most likely get your answer very fast. There's a, a favorite movie of, of mine, which I really love, called uh, Peaceful Warrior or The Peaceful Warrior. It's based on a true story about a gymnast called um, of Dan, Dan Millman. And he meets this uh, philosopher, philosopher uh, a guy who's very philosophical. I can't even say the word. Um, a lot of wisdom, you know, and he calls him Socrates. And the movie is great. It's, ba it's based on a true story and there's many books about it, a lot of wisdom. And Dan Millman, this young guy, is like a gymnastic, you know, gymnast. And he's like, you know, hurrying his day and then he has like an accident and stuff and it's, it's a really good story and this guy this very wise man um lots lots of philosophy um called socrates we don't even know his real name he's like training and teaching this young gymnast and one of the important thing i took from that movie was that he asked him just to lay down on that old car on that trunk and just look at the sky you know it's night time and he's like just Come back when you've got something important to say. And it sounded quite threatening at the time. But it's just about clearing your mind. And that's like one of the steps of reflection and meditation. Is just to let go. And allow wisdom to flow through you. Because around us is energy. The Akashic Records or like. Things with like psychometry, where we put our hands onto objects and we feel like the importance or the, the knowledge or the story behind, you know, that what that object can give us. But it's like there's this, I'm, I'm a big Star Wars fan, I love things like Jedi and talking about like the, the Force. And it's really interesting about watching that stuff because it's like the Force is an energy field that surround us, surrounds us, penetrates us and binds the galaxy together, as, as what Obi-Wan Kenobi says. And it's like there's this energy field around us all the time, not just from us, but from living things, 
old residual energy that are in buildings and places that you go that you can pick up on the feelings and you can gain that information and within those spaces are guides our teachers our passed over loved ones and you know the more connected we are can be with our guides we can gain that clarity so if we are triggered then we can gain that that communication with our guides to say hey guides like I was triggered today by this situation that made me very emotional or angry. Like, what was that? You may not get an answer straight away. It's kind of like an email. You send an email, like a request in like a website, like a business, and say, hey, like, how much is your product? Or like, when can you ship? And you don't get an instant reply unless you ring them. So it's kind of like that. You put the, you know, the, the question out and it's like it takes time to receive. So... It's not always instant because sometimes even your guides don't even know the answer. They're like, oh, okay, this happened. We'll, we'll look into it. But the information is very fast. But then the receiving part is yourself, that whatever's going on inside you and you want to gain some more clarity and insight, then it can take some time to get back. And yeah, this is what happened to me today. You know, I got triggered on a situation and I was like, okay, I'm just going to, just reflect and like, okay, what happened? What what happened? I just put it out, I was tidying up, and then I, I got the information and I was like, wow, oh, great, something so small and crazy viewing from somebody else can make me feel triggered. And yeah, it's um I mean when you have that access to that, that's that's a good feeling. But it's like, okay, cool, uh, it's a bit more about self discovery and how you can discover more about yourself and and really refine your your emotional, physical self, you know, for something beautiful. So I just wanted to share that really, you know, like we're all not perfect. This is why we're here in the school of learning. I'm not perfect. I'm I'm learning all the time, more about me, aspects of me, you know, and these are little jewels that are like, oh okay, great. Well this is uh, something that I get triggered about, like, okay, how can I be less triggered in the future and make myself feel you know more content more happy and next time it's just going deep into that that thought whatever's triggered you it could for me i think it was a past life and stuff to do when i was younger so it's kind of like okay let's try and heal that past you know so next time i'm in meditation i'll do a healing a self-healing meditation of going into the past and trying to clear that. So I just wanted to share this, you know, why why we get triggered, you know. I think sometimes, well, it's always to do with trauma in some way, no matter how big or small it is, we can remember, we're like, oh, this situation again, or like, oh, this makes me feel like this. And perhaps, I guess, maybe like a past life or a past part of us experience in this current life we can reflect back to the way it was and i guess i think in in connecting with others especially relationships people who we're very close to in our little bubbles um and friends like you know a friend or somebody that we're with and you know or a partner can make us triggered in such a way that we're like oh okay why is this making me so sensitive you know where is this coming from and really we're all actors on a stage in this reality where we're here teaching others all the time we're all actors in a way that we're playing a role for somebody to help you know their journey so if you're getting triggered about a situation by somebody out in public and you're judging or you're like criticizing in, a, in a some way like why are you doing that why are you being that way or you shouldn't say these things. I was like, well, why am I feeling this way? Why am I taking that personally? Okay, how can I change my behavior? So we are light, we are dark, because with the light, there is shadows, you know, and those are the shadow parts of ourselves that we get triggered from. So these are all terms in, in spiritual sort of psychology of things that trigger us um, and our shadow self, you know. Are the shadow parts of us which sometimes well usually it's one person will shed some light or just be okay and not say anything and then 
another person can get triggered. And uh, a biggest example of that is bullies, you know, at school. Like someone, like a pupil that is just very happy and, you know, naive and nice. And they look at them as a target because perhaps the bully is used to be in that way and they hated that part of themselves because perhaps they had like an issue with their father or their mother growing up and so it reminds them and so they look at an easy target because they were once like that you know they were the bullied and now they are the bully that they are the bullier so anyway i hope your day goes well um always be aware of your emotional self your physical self and how you can refine yourself to be a better you, always a better you, like a polished diamond. Have a great day and um, I'll speak to you soon.